So, you guys know what we have to do, right? Get to the chopper! We're going to hurry! You know what? Because I'm a rogue, I can just sneak all the way there. Normally, I'd have to fight through some of these. You can see some of the uh, orcs fighting some of the uh, SI7 operatives. And yes, this is SI7, meaning this is courtesy of our good old buddy Matthias Shaw. Though again, it's entirely possible that they may have been deceived here, courtesy of the Twilight's Hammer. Garot! Hey, get away from my flying machine! Oh! Oh, wait, I have to actually try and, uh... I thought he dropped the keys. Never mind. There they are. Huh. Where the heck is the ignition? It'll be a wonder if it flies without doing something weird, like turning into a chicken or shrinking down to the size of an ant. Hey look, someone left their loose change in the ashtray. What else is there? This is one of the very first times that they've actually come up with a way for us to actually get paid for turning in a quest without an NPC here. We, <laughs> we get paid by finding loose change in between the seats of the chopper. That is amazing. I, I, I just love that. I love that so much. Get away from my flying machine! Oh my goodness, will you stop it? No! Get away! Oh. Yeah, they said that their precious cargo, whatever it is, is being held on the line ship The Vengeance Wake. There's only one thing to do. Fly this out there and retrieve it. Oh boy! Ah! Bit of a crash landing there. They don't see nothing. Nothing at all. So here's a wizard. He is channeling on that cage a magical ward. By the way, this is a cage designed with magical wards to keep in a powerful target. I need a target. I'm pointing this out to really show and, you know, the measures that the Alliance took to capture Thrall here. When again, he's not even with the Horde anymore. And he's on his way to the Maelstrom to prevent Deathwing from cracking the world in two. Lotar, friend. What is it? Hi, Thrall. Perhaps you can help me get out of this cage? Lotar, friend. Not for you. I would surely be on my way back to Stormwind to be paraded as a trophy and a slave. Now, Thrall might be exaggerating there. However, we have to remember a couple of things. One, they are at war at this time, the Alliance and the Horde. Varian made it a point that he actually wanted to kill Thrall and the Horde, specifically the Orcs, back in the Undercity. So, hearing that from Varian, as Thrall did, he probably is assuming that's what Varian wants. Two, Thrall has a personal history of humans using him like that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just read the book, or listen to the audiobook, um, War of the Clan, or not Lord of the Clans, Lord of the Clans. It's... It covers his entire upbringing by a horrible, horrible person uh, 
by the name of Blackmore, who treated and raised Thrall as a slave. The Alliance dogs found me unconscious on the shore and put me in this magical cage. It was keeping me from connecting with the elements. No longer! I never thought that I would be a prisoner of the Alliance again. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you. Stabby guys, is it? I will meet you up on top. From there, we will deal with them. I will see you up top. Thank you again for my freedom. Of course, Thrall. I've always got your back. I always have and I always will. So yeah, now he's free and now he can re Remember, at this point in time, Thrall is still the most powerful shaman on all of Azeroth. And now he gets to utilize those powers once more. What's funny is he's still titled the War Chief, even though he's not the War Chief anymore. My mission is too critical to let these meddlers continue to dog us. It's up to you and I to put an end to this once and for all. Brothers of Earth and Fire, hear me! Sisters of the Water and the Air, heed my call! Gosh, I wish I was a goblin shaman right now. Azeroth stands on the brink, its existence near an end. Lend me your power, as in times past, with my ancient ancestors. Allow me to channel your will through this child of Kazan. Let us put an end to those who would keep us from healing the world. And I am now an elemental. Basically. I am the cyclone of the elements. Oh, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm the cyclone of the elements. Now, some people have actually asked, how is it goblins can be shaman? To which I say, why is that a... is that hard to grasp? What's one of the things that is common amongst shamans being able to have power from the elementals? Working, on, working with and alongside the elementals. It's basically no different than actually making a contract. Oh, why is my chat window not? Speed of the storm. Heed my... <laughs> Love you, Metzen. I know a lot. I know there's a lot of people out there that do not like Chris Metzen. I've always loved Metzen. I can't replicate his voice though. It, he has a, a certain growl within his throat that is really hard to replicate. I can, you know. I, th I think I can decently replicate his Varian voice, but his voice with Thrall is just so hard to, to recreate. Lothar, friend. What is it you wish? You have done what few others could have. Our world owes you a debt larger than you could possibly understand. Our destinies are forever intertwined. There are events taking place that are reshaping our world, and ultimately will destroy it. We must put an end to them before it is too late. Know that you can... Shut up, Gallywex. That you can always count on me, brother. We will meet again on the larger island. May you find peace until then. That's right, there's a larger island over here. This is the small island that we're on right now. We're about to go to a larger island. By the way, I love this. Look at this. We've got, look at this line. We've got the trainers here. Yep. Our buddies, Ace and Lizzie. Some of the other trainers. Oh, there he is. There's Gobber and there's Loderbot. The warrior trainer. Yeah, he's still with us. So how are we gonna get to that island? Well, it's very simple. And I'm surprised you would even ask this. We're going to be use a rocket. Why are we rocketing over to an island that has a volcano? Didn't we barely survive this scenario on Kazan? Yeah, that's the island we're going to and it has a rocket. Or not rocket, it has a volcano. We're using a rocket to get over there because we're goblins. Just, do I really need to keep explaining this? Something on your mind. Wow. Oh, wow! Is that who I think it is? You rescued Thrall, War Chief of the Horde? Actually, he's not the War... Well, technically, Sass, he's not the War Chief anymore. Well, let's see about getting over to that larger island. I'm sure as heck 
Heck, don't want to swim the strait with all those sharks down there. I'm sorry, did you say sharks? While you were rescuing the war chief and saving us all from the Alliance, Foreman Dampwick built this rocket sling to shoot us over the shark-infested strait to the bigger island. Luckily for us, the Foreman managed to salvage a town in a box from the shipwreck. Yes, that's right, they have a town in a box. I know that sounds kind of absurd, but these are goblins. Once you get it, get it set up, we'll have a town of our own. I can't wait to sleep in a bed again. Dampwick is down there at the landing site, waiting for you. Why don't you take the next rocket over? Always got more to Uh-oh, it's the trade prince. Such a big show. Saving everyone and making friends with these orc savages. I'm gonna crush you. I'm the trade prince, me! I got a plan that's gonna get me off this island and make me the king of Ajara. Mark my words, I'm gonna get you. I'll get you all out of my way. And he jumped ahead of me on the rocket sling. Well, let's make sure he doesn't have too much of a head start. Oh, is this really a good idea? Nope, but we're going to do it anyway. Up, up, and away! Oh gosh, oh, that's a gigantic shark. Oh boy, oh, we are going in a rocket. We're going down. Oh gosh, we are gonna, we are going down way too fast. We're gonna crash. Ah! Huh. I expected a bigger explosion. Hey, Dampwick. Quickly, quickly. I sure am glad you survived the trip. Uh, not everyone did. Gee, I wonder why. The trade prince had an entire town in a box in the ship's hold. I managed to recover it while you were out saving all of our skins. Do you want me to do the honors? Uh, do you want to do the honors? All you have to do is just climb to the top of that huge pile of explosives and push the plunger and whammo, kablammo, instant town. Move it. Hurry, deploy the town in the box. Our people are trapped inside. Oh, I almost forgot your parachute. Our people are trapped inside. Seriously. Again, we could question this, but remember, these are goblins. Oh my gosh! Hey, oh, hey, I can see my house. Oh, 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 there's the parachute. Oh, whew. Yep. This whole town with all of our people was tucked inside it. Oh, hey, Greeley. And, it, <laughs> oh, man. Everybody's here, it looks like. I got a deal for you. Glad I could help. I have a, no, there we go. All right. I have a belt. What? <coughs> hey, where's the duck? Someone stole the dock and the oil refinery from our time in the box. Who would do such a thing? Where's the trade prince? Hey, your boss. A uh, Hobart Crapplehammer wants to speak with you. He says it's a matter of some urgency. Careful out there. Hobart's right behind you, sir. There he is. A new assistant. Excellent. There you are, my boy. I have something very important for you to do. Ridiculous! The greatest goblin mind of all time reduced to food detail? I made the micro mecha chicken just for this reason, and they let it get away! Turns a deeper shade of gray <laughs> shade of green as his blood pressure rises. Do I look like I should be rounding up escaped cluckers? No, my friend, not I. Bam! Most definitely, though he's too lazy. Your station in life has recently taken a turn for the worse. You do it! You take these remote control fireworks and attach them to the cluckers. Field tests to conduct. Are you serious right now? It's really quite simple. Just attach these fireworks to the wild cluckers and I'll use... We'll use what? Whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. There. Yes, we put the rockets on the cluckers then... Don't question if any of this makes sense. These are goblins.
By the way, I also want to show this to you. That's where we were. This is the island we're at now. Biggest egg ever into the pul the pulterizer. Mech nuggets for everyone. Genius idea, sir. Your brain power never ceases to amaze me. This thing is huge. Reverse the polarity on the polarizer. We we will have to shove it in through the outtake. There it goes. We shall only be a moment now. Shut it down. Shut it down. The eggs are bad. <laughs> oh, oh, it smells like rotten eggs in here. <laughs> Yes? What is it? Success! Uh, was there ever any doubt? Greeley, fire up the pulterizer. Which I guess they just did. Uh, that sells more. An empty town in a box. That's our bag. Ambition is the mother of invention. Hey, Stabby guys, come over here. Oh, I've got some for you to do. Quickly, quickly! Holbot thinks that he's gonna feed us on those sh tiny clicker eggs. Bah! We're gonna get some real eggs! I've already set up some traps on the raptor rise up the path to the east. Take this bunch of wild clucker eggs and lay them in the traps. The, t the spiny raptors will go right after the clucker eggs, and then you'll get to trade up to their larger eggs. Genius! Um. Note the place is still shaking. For two reasons. One, there is a volcano on this island. Two, it's not like the ground, the place stopped shaking, you know, after uh, Deathwing basically started the cataclysm. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't, don't question it. Oh, I just remembered. I'm a rogue. I can sneak around. Yeah. Yeah. These raptors will never suspect a thing. There are times I, you know... Or like this, where I'm like, oh, good, my goodness, I'm glad I'm a rogue, so I can just, you know, go and sneak and not have to worry about aggroing everything in the in the area. <laughs> like there are things you may hear me complaining about, you know, or saying negative things about the rogue class. The thing is, I do like it, but there are just things about it I don't enjoy, and it's mainly this, this re this whole energy combo point system is just a, a, a resource system that I just don't enjoy playing. I find myself with my usual playstyle just running out of energy and not having any combo points to use way too often. And I'm sure it's partly because, well, that's because it requires, you know, a different kind of mindset and playstyle, which I probably just don't have or I'm not used to. I'm not, again, it's, it's, you know, I'm once again trying, not trying to say it's bad. It's just not something that I personally enjoy all that much. Like, if I was to say that the rogue is my least favorite class in the game, I'm not saying it's the I'm not saying it's the worst class. I'm saying that of all the classes that, you know, for me to play, that it may be my least favorite simply because of how that resource system plays, and it's mainly from a gameplay perspective. Like, there are other things about the rogues I do like. I really enjoyed going through that uh, quest line. Um, from the Dragon Soul Raid to get the legendary daggers, you know, from the Dragon Soul Raid. And I have those, and, you know. 
You know, and some of the transmog sets for robes just look awesome. Don't waste my time. How many did you get? I can just taste the massive omelet that we're going to cook up now. Nice! Look at the size of those things! There's no way that grapple hammer is going to be able to top those. Oh, go! Over here, if you please. What is it? Do you have a question? Bam! Mega bomb? Who does he think he is? His spiny raptor eggs are no match for what we are about to recover. As you well know, each town in the box is equipped with a micro mecha chicken for just such a dietary emergency. Luckily for us, my keen intellect was able to deduce the location of our pre pre prodigious pre-programmed poultry ran off to. Location that our okay. Head north to the Scorch Gully. But beware, its circuit boards are fried, and I imagine it's not so micro any longer. Don't underestimate the mecha chicken. After all, it is a Hobart grapple hammer invention. My goodness, this guy's got a bi as big an ego as that gnome that we ran into uh, when we did the Alliance stuff on in Mechagon. I don't remember what that gnome's name was, but oh my gosh, the ego he had. The Mecha Chicken. Behold! Hey, I've got sap now. Rocket to your face. The biggest egg ever. Don't drop it. And I just kind of stashed it in my pocket. I just love how anything that's gigantic, we can just be like, all right, I'll, let me just tuck it in my back pocket here. Town in the box. I <laughs> hey, Loaderbot. Speak up. Just think about the accolades that will rain down upon me, and uh, us, when the biggest egg ever is returned. Eureka! My genius saves the day yet again. Take that, bam, mega bomb, and now to reap the benefits. By the way, these are called best bracers ever. Yeah. Fine, fine, perhaps the whole egg thing didn't quite pan out. Who's up for some shark meat? Only uh, one little problem. Well, uh, a big problem, actually. A really big problem. The hammer. Of course, I have a brilliant idea. Swim out into the dire straight to the west and get us some shark parts. Give them to my assistant, and I'm too... Assistant Greeley, I'm too poor to get my hands dirty with the small details. Run along now! How about I grab you and just toss you out to that big shark out there? If you keep, if you keep, keep this up. Like, seriously, look at the size of this hammerhead shark. That thing is gigantic. I need to get close. Hey, that's too far away. I think I wasn't close enough. Apparently I can't stay stealth when I am in the water. What? I'm out of range. Not a big deal. I need to get close. By the way, you notice how we are basically getting a 100% guaranteed drop rate on these? This was yet another change that they made in Cataclysm. Because they understood that some people were getting a little frustrated trying to get these quest items, and they just outright refused to drop. So they were like, okay, don't worry, we're gonna make it where quest items will drop. Hey, that's too far away. I don't have a time. Okay. 
one more. I need to get close. Just remembered I forgot to do this. Just, you just stay over there. What's up? Take it easy on Grapple Hammer, okay? He is a genius, but... He has a fragile ego. Fragile? Oh, these will do very nicely. We're going to combine the shark parts and the robotic remains on the mecha chicken into a sub-submersible that should allow you to get rid of that nuisance, the hammer. Combining the remains of the mecha chicken with these shark parts, we've assembled the greatest fighting submersible of all time. The Mecha Shark Extreme. Hobart and I want you to pilot it. Go west of the water and activate the Mega Shark's extreme controller. You must kill the hammer for it to have any hope of exploiting the natural resources of the Dire Strait to their fullest extent. It's for the good of the cartel. Keep your okay, the just ground. thought it was a little funny that you you specifically said we're going to exploit it, but okay, sure. <laughs> but hey, we all know how Blizzard feels about exploits, right? Hey! -o! So yes. We are now in a shark submersible. What are our abilities? Freaking laser beams. Every shark needs a freaking laser beam. Out of our eyes. Because of course we do. Explosive barrage. Lob a deadly barrage of explosive eggs at the hammer. Doing 922 fire damage. Weapon system provided by the mecha chicken. And repair. You're going to need to use this. Let's go. And just like that, we killed it. That's how powerful this thing is. Remember, Goblin Tech is really strong. It's incredibly, like... I don't know. What, what I guess, crude in terms of how it's put together is could be an appropriate word, but it works. It really works. A new assistant! Excellent! Excellent work, my boy! The town in a box is saved and the village water cartel will be profitable once again thanks to my overwhelmingly unbelievable intellect and uh, tinkering know-how. Your work here is done for now, but there's no rest for the wicked, eh? You remember Meg's Dread Shredder, our old marketing rep? Well, she's taken some others over the hills in the southeast. Just past the raptor rise. If you follow the path east of the town and follow it south at the fork, you can't miss her. Apparently there's some trouble or other brewing with the snake men at the ruins on the shore. Uh, go see if you can sort it out. Uh, sort it all out, would you? Ambition is the mother of the Alright, we hit level 15, which means we can now select talents. So I was looking and I was like, how come I don't see? And then I realized it's a talent. That's what I was I what I forgot. Leeching poison. This is where now you get 10% leech. So, I have that. So, so level 15, we have either increase master poisoner, increase the damage done by your weapon poisons by 30%, and their non-damaging effects by 20%. Your finishing moves grant 10% increased damage done over for 4 seconds. Blindside exploits the vulnerability of foes with less than 35% health, dealing physical damage to the target. Mutilate has a 25% chance to make your next blindside free. Which is funny because we don't get mutilate until... We don't get mutilate until level 40. So, I'm just going to go with Master Poisoner. 
like I said, I like the poison aspect of assassination rules. I know a lot of people prefer the burst damage uh, style of outlaw. But there are times I just prefer the dot uh, play style instead. And it makes sense to me uh, when it comes to a rogue. That, of course, they would use poisoned weapons on you. Huh. Now that seems familiar. These look like ruins of, uh... Oh, gosh, where have I seen these before? I could have sworn we encountered some of these back when we did the Draenei starting zone. Duh, I'm sure it has no uh, similarities or coincidence at all. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, boss, we got a problem. It looks like the Naga down there in the ruins are preparing to invade our town of the box. Yes, the Naga are here. I have lots of dead scouts here as proof. I don't know about you, but I'm not about to let them try. Let's get the jump on them. Could you lay the foundation for our new coastal holdings by replacing their banners with our own? There's some prime real estate down there. See you around, friend. You hear that, Naga? Stabby guy's on his way to settle our negotiations. I got what you need. It's oft whispered in dark corners of a, of a material so fine, so exquisite to the touch, that goblins of sophisticated taste will spend any amount of moolah to get their hands on some. Of course, I'm speaking of Naga Hide. Look, trying to make sure no one's listening. I know that you're going to head down there and that it's inevitable that you're going to have to fight those snakes. Hey, they're not going to have a lot of use for their hides anyway. They'll be dead. Come back anytime. We can uh, discuss the cut after you come back with the hides. I'm thinking uh, 90-10. Are you serious? 90-10. By the way, we got a mace called the hammer. <laughs> don't, don't question it. The pleasure was all mine. You are offering me a 90-10 split. I was going to be your trade prince, and this is how you're going to rip me off, man? Seriously? And blind shots. Okay. Well, there are the banners. Well, one of them. There's plenty more banners around this area. They got claim on this place. I love how each race has a different uh, animation for sneaking around. And I'm sorry, the goblin one is just one of the funniest looking. Cheap shot. Pow! Looks like another player is here. Ten. 
All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get my fifth, get it out of the way. I need to target something first. I'm sorry, I just love the whole, the way the goblin talks, like he's, uh, like he's from New York. Like, hey, I need to target something first. Hey, 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 bada bing, bada boom. Oh my goodness, strange tentacles. Ah, I'm sure that's not important. I'm sure it has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on or, you know. I'm sure there's absolutely no connection between this and what's actually going on in the bigger picture at all. Should be fine. It's not like he can chase me. <laughs> Plus, I'm sure the fact that it's here along with Naga has no connection whatsoever either, right? <laughs> right? Can I lighten that coin purse up for you? Well, how many do you have? I think that a 95 to 5 split is more than generous. Wait a minute. You said 90-10. We're gonna be filthy rich, I tell ya. Well, if I can get my get off this island, that is. Goblin products are built to hey, blast. How you I doing? wish I could have seen the looks on their scaly faces when you blew up their banners and replaced them with our own. On second thought, I don't want to be close enough to see their snarls. I've got a plan. Ooh, there's the crimson vial. I can now heal myself. I've got a plan, and you're the only one that I know who's crazy enough to pull it off. I need you to take this irresistible pool pony on the Vashir... Uh... Is that an E? Oh. Vagelin. Okay. To the Vagelin spawning pool and inflate it and then swim down to their hatchlings with it on i'll bet anything that the hatchlings can be lured away to follow you bring them back here and we'll proceed with the next phase of the plan glad i could help everybody loves a pool pony it's our fastest selling toy behind the kablooey bombs infant edition that's right they sold bombs to in you know for infants you know it's like uh, that joke that mel brooks made Spaceballs the flamethrower! The kids love this one. That guy's ahead of me. He's already done <laughs> collected the hatchlings. Hope you left some for me. An irresistible pull. Yep. Yep. D don't don't question it. That's why I keep saying it's like, look, don't question. These are goblins, okay? Don't question. Twelve. That's right. Follow me, little hatchlings. I'm out of range. Let's 
seriously, you expect something like this to have like the sound effects from the Jetsons. They love me! And I'm rooted. There we go, 12 of 12. Let's get out of here. That's right, follow me, little hatchlings. I certainly, you know, I'm certainly trustworthy. Wee. Yes, they're all follow me. Come on, children. Follow me. Right this way. What's shaking? Oh, they're so cute. I wish that we could turn them into little plush toys and sell them for a gazillion macaroons. Stabby guys, you and Ace need to march those Naga hatchlings down there and use them as leverage to convince the leader of the Naga to surrender to us. Ace knows where to go on the south side of the ruins. Just follow him. This is their leader? Deal with it. Go get him, champ. Yeah, he doesn't look familiar at all. It's not like we've been seeing... Uh, some of them in recent times, right? <laughs> not at all. Oh, look. Like, they're not, like, immediately hostile to us. Probably because we have... Oh, oh, but the tentacles are. Let's just, uh, sneak by the tentacle, shall we? This is shallow water, so... Hello. Hello. Ships passing in the night. Hello, though. Wish I had sprint right now. Hi? Who dares? Little goblins, I remember when your race was created. I care nothing for your threats. All oh, these Naga, prepare to be removed from existence. Now, young Stabigas, you will die. <gasps> I need a target. Well, okay then. I guess we dealt with their leader. If you're wondering why I was doing that voice, I mean, many of those, you know, types have that type of voice when we encounter them. Even in the Dragon Soul raid. And NBFA. How many of you are still waiting for Naga to become a playable race? Seriously. I know people to this day that they're like, why don't we have playable Naga yet? Well, spit it out. A faceless of the deep? What's that? That does not sound like a Naga. Well, you killed it, or whatever it was. It doesn't matter now. We have other fish to try. Or to fry. 
Sorry, I for some reason can't read. We were wrong. It wasn't the Naga that we were preparing to attack. It was the nearby Umlaut tribe. Stabby guys, you need to get back to the town of the box. The pygmies are already attacking. Here, take this. We bought it off of a pygmy who said it used to belong to some great leader of theirs. Someone whose name translates as a dark as dark tan helmet. It should fool them so that they don't a attack you. Have a good one. <laughs> the pig. <sighs> Behold! I am Lord Dark Helmet. I can't breathe in this thing! If you are seriously not getting this joke, I I weep for you. And go watch Spaceballs immediately. I know a bio when I see one. Like, seriously, what is, how, how, have, how have you not seen Spaceballs yet? That would be a travesty. An absolute yeah, travesty. No yes, Lone Star. I... I've found you at last. <laughs> it also looks like the one he uses in the, in the desert. We're following orders. We're combing the desert. <laughs> Sir? What? Are we being too little? No, you fool. We're following orders. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my gosh. I've seen Spaceball so many times. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. Oh my goodness. The pygmies are attacking. Ah! Well, we will try and help defend against this pygmy attack when we return. Stay tuned. <laughs> 